So the embassy has, has, a, has, has its place, and it has for the last 40 years, which is, again, testimony to Indigenous people and the struggle that, that we're still there after 40 years and living in a society of uh, modern modern ways and smarter, generated people. Um, it's a little hard to believe that we still are there, but as it is, the Indigenous uh, plight and problem in this country is a real one. Um, we're still under the, uh, the banner of colonialism. I don't believe Terra Nullius has really been uh, abolished or dead and gone. I think we're still living in it. Again, uh, the separation of racism is still in this country and uh, we've taken away Indigenous people's rights, we've taken away the rights for uh, the human rights. They're, they've taken away a lot of dignification to a human being and uh, we, the embassy, stand there as a banner for that too. And uh, at the moment, but we stand for everything that's in this country because uh, everyone says that the Commonwealth come here and, and established the right of jurisdiction over the land and country. But as far as I'm concerned, I don't, uh, you know, I and many other people are concerned that, uh, that and it's never it's never stopped. It's, it's always continued on and we, as a people and a nation, have been fighting this war of nutrition for for many, many years, 225 years, I believe it is, is what we're up to in this present day of um, existence in colonialism. And it's, it's a difficult struggle. It's hard, it's long, and it's arduous, and these are the words. But we will overcome. We have the strength and we, we, have the, we have the conviction. And as long as we are true to that and stay strong to what we are looking for in, in, in a unified country of what we're living in, then I, I, I believe sovereignty and it as an issue can be achieved and can be put on the bench as, as a forward going way to Australia's true reconciliation if you want to call it that word. The consciousness that the, the Aboriginal people's culture and, and their, their land and their lives and, you know, they, they finally have to be because like, it's happened too long. It's, it's, Aboriginal people now just starting to wake up that they have a voice. Their voice is, is a real voice and, and, and every, every voice is, is a story that has to be spoken. They have flown us all the way up. And you, you stand there pretending not to hear, but you can hear in your heart for a lie. You know this is the best thing we could do this country, to remember the frontier wars, yeah? and celebrate the war dead of the Aboriginal people and their heroes who fought and died defending Australia, or what they understood to be Australia, for their country in this land, and their graves are unmarked. To this day, will you let us through? Come closer, folks. Come closer. Step up. Choose a police officer. Come close. Come on. Come as close as you can. We're all on different levels and we're coming from all different places and we all share the one thing, which is the, the, the commonest demand and survival and, and being. Um, being in tune with what's going on. It was said that we're all, you know, we're all on different levels, but we're all fighting for one common denominator, and that was just a little bit of peace and, and um, harmony in the world. So it's, it's time that Australia step back and have a look in their own backyard because what you're seeing is going on is a few months worth of killing and murdering, but we're looking at 200 years of just pure genocide, of, of pure open slathered, open slathered, um, oh, how would I put it? It's mayhem on, on indigenous races of the world today, but especially in this country. Yeah. Yeah.
We were allowed to know, we're citizens, we're allowed to know, aren't we? And ignorance. We have rights, we want, we want to let them through. Uh, how are you? All these people here want to let them through. We want to see them go through. I'm not part of the process, but I want to see them through. I think the majority of these people would like this people to go through. Answers, please. I'm not being a smart, I seriously want to know why they're not going to be able to answer. When we weren't even accepted as people! You died a hero! Shed your blood! For all of us! You're a warrior of the Bundjalung people. Bundjalung. You died for these soldiers in blue here. And you died for everyone that's walking here proclaiming peace and justice for all. Shame on the country for not allowing an Aboriginal man to honour his heritage and his right for peace and justice of this land. For all men that we're supposed to proclaim equal under some God. Shame! May your blood boil with shame! You done this to my people! How dare you forget! We love our people too! We have a history! A hundred thousand years old! And you'll walk on my land and hurt my people and my peace and my dreamings! Shame! I forgive you! I ask for you to be welcome to my country, to walk with me and my peoples 250 nations of Aboriginals walked this land for 100,000 years. You are welcome. We don't come to you with AK-47s or bombs to say, go. I just want to walk up to the memorial and honour my brother's sacrifice. Let me through to honour this the warriors of our people who fought for a country that did not care for us, did not give us honour as men and warriors. We did the same as you are doing now, protecting the families and children and your heritage. You're on my country. I speak for all my people. Until the royals say a treaty to us, you're our own blackfella land. You pay respects to me and honour my people, and then this land is going to be a good country. You will not be walking around with weapons as soldiers, trying to be peaceful about things. You will walk as you should, free, without arms to wear for the threat of your life. That's why these men died, black and white and yellow and brindle. We gotta stop that. Please let us through to honour our, all our dead. In the name of peace and justice and love for our families and our country. Wear the uniform with pride of dignity, not of shame and guilt. Your honourable people, don't allow the government to abuse your uniform to put shame on it. You are federal law officers. Show a bit of intensity or whatever that word is. I had a little bit of education. Right? But your honourable people, 
you can step aside and let us through and honour our dead as countrymen of my people, my country, 250 nations. Can you understand that, my friends? You're all from another land. We're in the same uniform of this country. You're standing on sacred ground, my ground. And my brother's name is on that wall. <laughs> I come to this town to honour him and honour everyone. Just honour us and let us through to share the moment for the democracy that our men and women died for the name of that uniform in this country. Thank you. Think about it, please. Think about it. Please. Talk to your people in power. Culturally, we did not allow people to manipulate us. Don't be manipulated. You are the law. Someone breaks the law, you go in there and you sort that problem out. If it's unjust. And you know this is unjust. So speak to your powers of that be. Whether it be God or anyone else. You're accountable to us and to the spirit in the sky. Whoever you believe in. Thank you very much. Welcome the country. May country look after you as you look after the country. Walk in that respect that you wear. Thank you. Peace to all! We were born very, very lucky people in a very, very lucky country. And, um, and it was unfortunate that the that uh, we didn't we didn't see this coming. We didn't know that the things that our great Creator put on our earth for us to admire and to 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 just to just to be amongst was going to be the uh, the uh, I want to say the loose in the knot in, in, in the rope that was going to be our biggest biggest dilemma. Man got greedy. White man got free, to be honest with you. I don't think black man ever got free. I think black man knew how to do it properly because that's how long we've been here. We've been here long before. We created these people and they forgot all about us. Maybe we created a superior, a really, really smart person, but they forgot well, where they came from. And that was grassroots too. Social consciousness was people. But in the tribe of where we are as Aboriginal people, it's more of a, it's, it's a social conscious thing that's going on. It's, it's not going on at the moment because we are still living under a, a draconian system that just doesn't really care. And it's, it's all about, uh, 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 and it's not really good for you to the white mob out there. You know, they're suffering. But this system doesn't allow to care about those people. Thank you. Thank you.
Yeah. 